reports have come out on Bronny James, and this is not looking good, guys. Oh, my goodness. Make sure y'all get in here. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys, as we are about to discuss Bronny James having the worst stat that anybody will want. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's go. Lakers rookie Bronny James leads NBA in unfortunate stat. Now, guys, feast your eyes on the screen. This guy is a minus 40. Three games, a minus 40. This is what LeBron James forced into the NBA. This is what teams passed on. Great job. <laughs> Great job passing on this, man. I'm not trying to be messed up, but there is no way in the heavens you can tell me that Bronny James is a NBA prospect. Minus 40. This guy has managed to play three preseason games and get worse and worse and worse. His first game, what, 12 some seconds left, he got about two points. <sighs> Second game, he lays a goose egg. Third game, he lays a goose egg. At the same time, Quincy Olivari, an undrafted, undrafted rookie, comes in, lights it up. Nine minutes of play. This guy has 30 six minutes logged in two points quincy mitchell comes in in nine minutes crushes his stats in nine minutes three games he kills him blows him out of the water in nine minutes now guys uh <laughs> this is Bronny james's plus minus through the three preseason games ranks dead last i want you i want y'all to see this dead last among the 494 players to log minutes so far wow Bron James, I don't know if this is going to truly help your legacy, brother. I know what you wanted. You wanted us to get around this story and be in awe and just say, oh, yeah, they, they love me so much. They they won't say nothing about you, shit. Yes, we will. This brother sucks. This brother sucks. Uh, It's okay, though. Uh, The guy is a fantastic video gamer. Fantastic video game. And he always has, like, this look in his face where it, it looks like this is this moment is too big for him i've seen these eyes i see them in football in the playoffs when players are in over their head i see it in uh basketball all the time this here means i'm not sure what i'm doing here all i know is my dad is one of the greatest i'm his son make way for me this kid is not ready Selfishly, LeBron James forced this kid into the league, uh, and this kid is not panning out. This guy has managed to have the worst stat, and there are so many people sucking off LeBron James. <laughs> I know he's pissed at whoever leaked this. I know he's pissed because ESPN, guys, I've seen them slow down on the Bronny James situation. They think they slick. They don't want to come out and tell the truth, but instead they won't tell this, though. They would rather not talk about it than talk about it. Now, now at first they were showing highlight videos of him just doing cardio. It ain't shit to show with this. This is terrible. I want you guys to look at this. Of <laughs> Bronny James has the worst plus minus of all 494 players to log exhibition minutes. This dude is the worst player in the league. Now, maybe this can change. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this can change. I don't see it happening like that, especially when, you know, the regular season really kicks in. And they're talking about sharing the court with his dad. This is all uh, set up by LeBron James. LeBron James got Darvin Ham out of there, uh, put J.J. Redick as the head coach, put him on the podcast to pretty much announce that that's what's going to happen. And everybody knew that this was a play to get Bronny James on the court because rumors have come out that Darvin Ham was not going to go along with this shit. Darvin Ham was not going to sell out his soul, disrespect the game, and not have any sense of integrity towards the game and, and do stuff like this. This is straight foolery. And for the Lakers, man, I mean, the Lakers, what, what are we doing? How far have we come? Jesus. And I can only imagine how the Laker greats feel about this. They will not come out, bro. These people are so afraid of LeBron. I don't think any of the old school players are afraid of LeBron. In fact, they actually go at LeBron. But guess what? The Bronze Sexual will say, 
oh, you guys are just mad because y'all didn't get to 10 straight final appearances or uh, you guys don't have four MVPs and four championships. They're going to say all that type of shit. But the truth of the matter is, man, uh, people need to start coming out and challenging LeBron James. Like, why are y'all so afraid of a guy who's a regular person like y'all? Yes, he has more money than most. Yes, he's taller than most. But also, he can be fraudulent like most. He can very much be criticized. And it's okay to come out and tell the truth like it is. You guys can come out and say you really don't like where this organization is right now. I mean, you guys have won championships in this organization. Who's going to come out besides Byron Scott? Byron Scott went on Undisputed, called out LeBron James. Who's going to come out like that and keep it real? I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. You guys are going to hear the ugly truth. When LeBron James retired, man, the, the 30 for 30s <laughs> on how people really feel, well, it, it's going to leave you guys in shock. It won't leave me in shock. I'll probably still be around like, yeah, I thought I thought that was going on. This whole Laker organization has become a joke. You got anonymous, uh, it, what, Western Finals, uh, general managers, uh, coaches coming out saying that they wouldn't have ever touched Bronny James. And the only reason that Bronny James' stock was relevant, one, it's because people really wanted LeBron James to be lured to their organization. If I'm being honest, I would not want a guy like LeBron James in my organization because he's selfish. He doesn't want accountability. And he doesn't want to be coached hard. He wants to play his role and allow others to be coached hard because he's above that. Just like Bronny James believes he's above the G League. He thinks he's better than the G League. He doesn't need to go there. He's Bronny James royalty. Royalty for crying out loud. My, 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 how far have we come? I'm telling y'all, man. I legit can't wait till LeBron James retires, bro. I see a lot of these cats coming back with the baggy shorts. They're bringing back a little more masculinity to the league. And that's what this league needs because the league is always going to act like the face of it. When Kobe Bean Bryant ran the league, different mentality. When Michael Jordan ran the league, different mentality. You let this guy run the league, everybody's soft, jersey swaps. Oh, I don't like this team trade. Oh, this team beat my ass. I'll join them. It's just a weak-ass era of basketball, bro. I don't care about Bronny James and LeBron James fans getting mad because they think that I'm a black man hating on another black man. No. In fact, I despise the fact that you took food out of someone else's mouth to put your son on this freaking team, and he is horrendous. Straight trash. But he's a good kid. A great video gamer. And that's where he should stay. <laughs> G League all season. That's not going to happen. Who could have seen this coming? Nepotism. <laughs> Just let the young man play. The season hasn't even started yet. Inciting stats. Shaking my head. Bro, shut up. We're just telling it like it is. <laughs> Ass. Bronny is a G League starter at best. I don't even think he's a G League starter. I'm being serious. Like, this kid is out of sync. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't look like he know like where to be how to apply the fundamentals how his iq is just not there for it he's a video gamer i'm not trying to be an asshole here but the kid is not nba material he didn't do a thing in high school or college how'd he make the nba oh yeah his dad who cares who his father is there were so many young men that were better that could have had his spot all i'm saying Joel Hunsicker, my brother, you are speaking the facts. You are telling the truth. And the truth of the matter is you're starting to hear a lot of the noise around Bunny James and LeBron James kind of, hey, you know, like come down a little bit. Now people are coming out really telling y'all how they feel. I'm telling you guys, it's going to get to that point where you can't keep going along with the shenanigans. We have to be real men out here. We have to be real women out here. We have to tell the truth man and this is pretty much just all the comments right here i mean like enough said what are the lakers doing how is the commissioner allowing this you got people like stephen a smith coming out here saying lebron james has earned it bro before there was a lebron james bro there were a lot of players that paved the way for him do they deserve some of these perks seriously do they deserve some of these perks come on man like we gotta start we gotta stop all that man like we it just it just comes to the point of uh it just really 
makes you scratch your head. I mean, like when I see where the world is today, whether it's sports or politics, I'm just like, is this even real? Seriously, I can't be the only one thinking like that. Y'all let me know. How do y'all feel about this stat? Ronnie James being the worst player in the league. I think a lot of people saw this coming. I didn't think that he'll be the worst player. I would, I would say that even though it's just preseason, you got to imagine as the season goes, he will have to go on a tear to pretty much change how people really feel. I mean, because right now it is not looking good. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your comments in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.